All right, everybody. Um, I am going to try to help everybody with all their GoPro problems with solutions. Okay. So I'm going to show everybody my basic gear here. All right. This, this is uh, this is my basic gear. I have a Hero 4. Okay. This is how the system looks. The Hero 4, it's got a concert case. This is a concert case, all right? So now what's cool about a concert case, unlike the normal case that GoPro gives you, is it muffles the sound. So you can buy the back of the case that has vents, but still, it's, it's horrible. It has a muffled sound. So, get rid of this right away. You can find these on eBay. I'll provide a link for these on eBay uh, or Amazon. You can get them for like $3, $4, $5. I buy like 10 at a time and give them away to poor souls who uh, think these are cool. I mean, these are cool for like going in the water. But abolitionists, hopefully you stay out of the water most, most of the time. Unlike me, who gets sprayed down with hoses. So anyway, this is the awesome concert case. Super cheap. They end up looking like this. Puts a protective lens over the front. Sometimes you can get that also. Um, but then the next thing that we do is we make sure we have good memory chips. All right. U1 to U3 is fine at least 128 um, gig you have to have 128 if you get 64 what happens is you can use it for a few hours and then it then it's full then you're done you need to be able to go like eight hours so 128 is normally good for almost all events I do have a new 256 gig chip right here by Samsung, which is super awesome. I mean, for sure, you're going all day. You don't have to worry about memory. I hate it when abolitionists say, oh, you wouldn't believe what happened, you know? It was so amazing. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait to watch it on your GoPro. And they say, oh, my memory chip was full. You know, it's kind of like the fish was like this big. You know, prove it. Let me see your GoPro footage. So anyway, the, the only other way that you could run all day with your GoPro is switching out the batteries all the time. So it's horrible. Don't do it. You can get these batteries right here. Let me show you on this setup over here. Okay, you can buy these. It's called Anchor. They're 10,000... 10,000... 10, uh, battery life so I think a GoPro is like 2,000 okay so this is 10,000 all right so it'll last like five times longer plus the battery of your GoPro so you're looking you can pretty much go all day with that battery and that chip you're solid and all I do to adhere it the only thing I do is two-sided velcro that's it so I buy heavy-duty velcro holds up to 10 pounds all right and I put it on the inside, not behind the GoPro or the strap, but on the back plate. So this sits against your chest, okay? And it works really, really well. And you just keep it plugged in. So you get a short cable, all right? And it always keeps your GoPro full. If somebody else who doesn't have this awesome setup, this killer setup, if they don't have it and they just, they're just sporting a GoPro, and in like 45 minutes they're dead you can just take this off and give it to them and it'll charge up their GoPro with a dead battery you could run just this you don't even need a battery in your GoPro you could take this battery out and just give them your fully charged battery if you want and keep running this without your battery on it and you're still up and running not a hitch so it works really really well there's a bunch of different straps you can use all of them are good I, I I've seen smaller ones and bigger ones. I've used them all. They all work really well. 
So you get the Velcro, double-sided Velcro. You get the battery. Battery's only like $22, okay? I think a GoPro battery is like 40 bucks, and it's still like one-fifth the amount of charging time. So buy this for half the price and get five times the charging time. Don't buy a cheap memory card. Get a good one, 128, a U1, which is like a, they call them a 10 or plus. But the more money you spend on your memory chip, the better you're gonna be. The faster it'll upload to your computer, the less heat problems you're gonna have, less error problems you're gonna have. So buy something that's good. I like the Lexar um, 1000. It's awesome. Or the Samsung 256 gig, the EVO 3. It's awesome. So anyway, you can see this setup here, right? Fits right, right against your chest, works really well. So I got that with the Hero 3 Plus. I got it with the Hero 4. Okay. Works awesome. And then I have it with the Hero 5 Session here too. All right. So this works awesome. Hold on a sec. Okay, so here's the Hero Session 5. Same Anchor 10,000 $22 battery with the cable that connects into where you charge. This kind of doesn't look that great. So if I had a little smaller cable, it'd be perfect. But uh, sometimes what I'll do is I, I'll just pull this and not use it. And then I'll plug it in when it gets like three quarters of the way three quarters of the way done so but it works great with the session I can film all day with my uh, 128 or 256 chip so in 4k I'm burning for 4k ever since that guy pulled a gun on Troy um, and you couldn't really see it because he wasn't running 4k I went to 4k so everything I do now is in 4k um, and you can see the succession here we got the hero 3 hero 4 Hero 5, and then I got, here's another older Hero 3. So I'm setting everything up for the Church of Pen Project today. The other cool thing is, for women that have purses, or men that wear murses, which I've never seen an abolitionist wear a murse, and uh, they probably shouldn't. <laughs> probably. I don't know. But this works great, too. So you just hook this on, and then you can clip it onto your strap. The only bummer about this is somebody could grab it and run off, you know, so, but still, it's awesome. You can clip it to a tree branch, you know, you can, you can put it in, in uh, on a wall or something. Um, I really like these straps or these clips and I, and I have some people like have that bag with the drop cards in it and stuff and flyers and they just clamp it to that. So that works, that works really, really well. So that's about it. The other thing I wanted to say is some basic rules, all right? Always make sure your shoulders are square to who you're talking to. It's very important that they're square to who you're talking to. There's nothing worse than like turning your neck and having a video of just your voice. And then what's worse than that, you know, like Toby or something, they use their hands to talk. And so you don't see anybody, you just see their hands, you know, like talking. So always square your shoulders, Make sure you're wearing your harness up as high as you can. A lot of people like to low ride their harness, but that's bad because we don't want to see people's like stomachs the whole time, right? And we don't want to look up into their noses. So try to get the strap up underneath your arms as high as you can, above your man boobs, not below your man boobs, for you older man boob guys. Um, so wear it up as high as you can. Keep your shoulders square. Always make sure your back is to the wind if you can. Back to the wind, right? So you're not getting all this wind noise hitting. If you have side, side noise, move your, po your sign up to block the wind so you get good sound, right? And then always try to keep your back to traffic. If you're facing traffic, the GoPros are great at picking up traffic noise, which is horrible, right? We don't want that. Think about the video. I mean, what you're doing out there is great, great work, all right? 
let people see it. It will encourage other people to do it. And if you don't do it well or perfectly, that's fine. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be like a great orator to, to go out and do the work. You know, God just needs people willing to do the work. Just go out and do the work. Do it as best you can. You know, try to be smart about it. So, and then the other thing is, keep your sign, if you can, in between you and the person for a little buffer zone, right? So you could always step back and hold the sign. Always try to de-escalate the crazy people. I saw a video of a guy who, this lady keeps threatening to run him over and almost runs him over all the time. And he sits in the road. Don't sit in the road. You know, it takes two crazy people to get run over. One, the crazy person to sit there in the road, and two, the crazy person that would run him over. So be safe. You guys have to realize that people who are willing to kill babies don't have a problem killing you. We don't have to help them. We don't have to prove that they're a, they're a killer. All right? Be safe. All right? I like uh, Danny Bonaducci said, there's never a good reason to be tased twice. All right? There's never a good reason to be run over by a car twice. You know, people who get run over by cars will tell you that. So don't get run over one time. All right, last thing is, if you live in a, in a city or an area that's real windy or you got a bunch of wind coming up, check out this, man. This is awesome, okay? So this will connect to most any GoPro. Um, it, it, it has the wrong cable for my Session 5. This right here is the wrong connector. But what will happen is you can unscrew this and screw this back in, and then it hooks here, and then it hooks into where your battery charger goes. And now your sound, the wind, it won't be as windy because this will cut down on the wind noise. And it is an external mon or mic that does a better job than the GoPro. So you can use this. The only bummer is you can't plug the battery charger in at the same time. So you would have to use this for a little while, you know, while your battery's full. And then when your battery gets low, you have to change that cable and put this cable in. Which is, which is cool, right? You could do that. There's no problem. So this makes for better sound. All right, I uh, will put links to all the different pieces of equipment that everybody needs. Um, if you're an abolitionist, you should be wearing a GoPro. It's you know besides God, all right, because God does a great job, and God will protect you no matter what. But you know, His will, <laughs> um, whatever that is. But if you're wearing a GoPro, it mellows people out. All right, it keeps them more sane. Uh, it protects you. Um, the cool thing is, is that most people, I, I really believe this, God hides the fact that you're wearing a GoPro. Like people don't see it. Like people will do these rants and get all crazy and do all these stupid, weird things. And then when they're done doing all those weird things, they look down and go, are you filming me? And you're like, yeah, <laughs> I'm filming you. You know, and then they're like, well, I don't give you permission to use my, uh, my image. And, and I just go, okay, you know, you know, I understand. Of course, I still use the image, right? Um, but I understand where they're coming from. So, and, and of course, that's in public, right? You can't do that in private. That, that's illegal. But you can do it in, in, uh, in public areas. Um, so, anyway, if you have any questions, hit me up. I'll try to explain it to the best of my ability. Um, I've had a lot of GoPros. I've tried some of the aftermarket ones. I like sticking with GoPros just because they are um, sturdy and I don't have that many problems with them. And I know them. I don't want to learn something new about anything, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm beginning to be an old dog. So I like, I like what's, what I like, what's good. So anyway, God bless. If you're an abolitionist, get a GoPro. If you don't have a GoPro, it's part of the trade. It's part of the industry that we're, we're in. It's part of activism. It's part of um, keeping you and the other people safe. Get a GoPro. Don't go out without your GoPro. I mean, you can, but, but get a GoPro. I mean, you can get one for 100 bucks. Um, and then you gotta buy all the other stuff, so you're looking at like $400. But you can find used GoPro stuff all over the place. You don't have to have the newest one. I mean, they're cool. But the old Hero 3s will work fine. You know? Anyway, God bless. Love you guys.